Hi, this is question number 19 for the ACT math exam we're working through, and this one has to do with scientific notation and has a little bit of unit conversion. So here we go. When turning, the tip of a windmill's blade traces a circle in the air with a circumference of 876 inches. In scientific notation, how many feet will the blade of the windmill move as the windmill completes 1,100 rotations? All right, so, you know, we've got this windmill, right, and it's got these blades, and, you know, maybe it's sitting in a field or something or whatever, and it is turning, of course, in the wind, and its blades, as they move, I guess any one of them, but it says one of them in the problem, but anyway, as this blade moves, it forms a circle, right, and that circle has a circumference of 876 inches, right? But it doesn't ask for our, uh, it gives us information in inches, but it asks for our answer in feet, right? So let's just go ahead and divide that 876 by 12 to get feet, by 12 inches to get feet, and that's 73 feet in circumference. So all the way around this circle is 73 feet. But that's not our answer either, because we need uh, to know in 1100 rotations how far will the windmill blade move. So we'll just take 73 times 1100, put that on the calculator, times 1100, and that equals, so that equals 80,300, okay? But they want our answer in scientific notation, so that is not our answer, right? So 80,300 is not our answer, so we can eliminate answer A. All right, so how are we going to convert this to scientific notation? Well, scientific notation is a way that scientists use and other people use to communicate large numbers uh, in shorthand, so to speak. So when you, have, when you use scientific notation, you recognize that the decimal of the big number comes, you know, whatever number you're going to start with, the decimal comes at the end of it, of course. So then you move that decimal over as many places as it takes to get it right after the first digit. So our first digit here is 8. So our number will end up being 8.03 times 10 to the something. Okay. So the zeros that are at the end here are just eliminated. We don't need to write those into the problem, right? And then we have to figure out, well, it's 10 to the what? Well, I'm going to rewrite our number again. And as we move over, uh, we have the, remember the decimal is at the bottom. And as we move over, let's count. So one, two, three, and four spaces to move the decimal over to where it belongs for scientific notation. Since we moved it four places, that means that we can just put a four there. So it's, the answer is 8.03 times 10 to the fourth. So that is answer choice 